My Milady here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, if you share this video and my channel, I'll help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Edge of Paradise. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you. Thank you. I really like your uh, symphonic uh, metal sound. And uh, what got you into that uh, style of music to begin with? I, well, I think it was more of um, me merging with Dave. Dave, he comes more a metal, um, metal background, more from a classical theatrical background. When we started writing together, it sort of morphed into what it is now. And then I love to experiment with industrial sound, post cinematic. Um, so you know, the music evolved over the years, but we just we just write what we like and kind of let the music uh, lead lead the way. So yeah. Love your uh, new single, My Method, Your Madness. You want to tell us a little about that? Thank you. Yeah, so that's our second single from the upcoming album, The Unknown. The first song was Digital Paradise. So Madness is this really fun swing, heavy track, and more about choices. It's about exploring whether your choices have an effect and whether it, is, it can be applied to something that we're going through, you know, right now to, in this lifetime or like for example i love to put my songs into a setting where you know we talk about something larger than life whether maybe um, whether our choices affect you know have some effect through different it's also exploring whether you know possibility of multiple dimensions so there's a lot a lot that the song kind of touches on it's a bit um but it's also you know, it can be brought to, you know, brought in to be very relatable, you know, to our everyday life, so. And are these uh, two singles released so far a good representation of how the album's gonna sound? Yeah, so we actually really, um, you know, released these singles to uh, capture the essence of the album. So for example, Digital Paradise showcases this kind of sci-fi, um side of the band where we explore our possible future it's you know of merging with technology you know how humanity is technology and where it's going to take us um my method of madness really showcases the energy of the band so for example if you watch the music video um it's more of a performance based video and um all the band members are featured so you can kind of get a sense of what you'll get at a live show, for example. And then our third single, The Unknown, which comes out July 30th, that really brings forth the emotional, um, the meaningful side of the album because this album has so much um, feeling and meaning <laughs> to it. So I think that song really captures the heart um, and you know the heart of the album and the band. So all these three singles kind of really bring forth and introduce the album. And how long have you been working on this album for? Um, over a year. We started working on this um, pretty much as soon as the pandemic started to take hold. We still were holding up thinking we were going to go on tour in September. We had a tour with Hammerfall planned for US. We actually had the whole 2020 year plan touring. But you know, as soon as the you know things started to lock down and we knew everything was getting canceled, we just kind of dove in head first and uh, you know started writing this album. Um, and it was a long process. We worked on it pretty much you know all through 2020, and we had a lot of you know, we have a lot of people involved, and um, it's you know. We were really sad about the touring being canceled and obviously you know the state of the world there's a lot of fear and um you know obviously nobody wanted this pandemic to happen but uh for us i guess we kind of found the silver lining and tried to make something positive out of the situation mm -hmm. so you know we have a new album and we're really proud of it and it's probably definitely the best music by far for us so yeah yeah, I love the two singers you've released so far. And would you say the pandemic maybe helped shape the album a little bit? I wouldn't say it helped shape it. It definitely made us focus on 
uh, just dedicating every minute of every day to this because you know sometimes like when you have shows you kind of um, go back and forth um, at least for us and so like before we never really got to focus just on the album because we always had some plans of you know, touring in between or filming videos or whatever it may be but actually this made us you know do 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 it the right way where you really kind of immerse yourself this album and you know i guess the pandemic also because it's just so unprecedented so it really made, makes you think of what else could happen <laughs> and uh, um just you know and i always think about the, the future or you know what could happen in the future anyway but this just kind of made us explore all kinds of possibilities and and also find something you know positive because i think during that time everybody needed support and i think with this music um you know we definitely wanted to capture an empowering message so we can bring some life to some life and do you have any uh plans on touring anytime soon um yeah we're gonna start touring in the new year right now we are focusing we have more content coming we have more music videos we're going to focus on the promotion and then announce the tour in the fall and you know build up our live show and take it on the road because time flies <laughs> we're almost we're almost at the end of this year so um i think we're just going to hold out till the beginning of 2022 and then hit the road hopefully to all the corners of the world so. <laughs> awesome do you have uh, maybe some bands you'd like to share the stage with uh, there's so many great bands out there I and mean, ultimately it would be really cool to tour with Ramstein if you've seen their live show. You know, I, I love the epicness um, and, you know, also Nine Inch Nails. I, you know, for me, I always was a big fan of seeing a show. So it's not just a band playing, but also have all the visuals and just have everything work together. And that's what, you know, we are looking to do with this music and the band. So, um, yeah, I mean, but other bands that would be awesome to tour with, there's the band within Temptation, um, bands like Amaran, um, Avenged Sevenfold, Grace. <laughs> there's so many great bands out there. So we'll see what happens. I totally agree. I love when I go to a show and there's an actual production with the performance, like you said, with Rammstein. They've got the fire and it's all timed perfectly. And it's like, it's amazing. It's like an experience. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I love that. Now, if people want to look you up online, get your music on social media, find you, how do they do that? Um, they can Google us at Edge of Paradise. They can also go to edgeofparadiseband.com. Follow us on Spotify. You can pre-save the album on Spotify now. You can also pre-order it uh, on iTunes, Amazon, anywhere. And we are also a very social band, so you can find us on Instagram and Facebook by searching Edge of Paradise. We also have a guitar giveaway coming up, so you can follow and stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, yeah, say hello to us. We love hearing from everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I look forward to what you have coming up in the future, and it was good talking with you, and everybody put them up. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was great to have you, and for everyone uh, watching, I've linked their music in the video description, so check that out. Yes, thank you.